In this presentation, we will look at how a platform administrator may organize business data using collaborative spaces. When a new member has been added, you need to give them a place to manage the data they create and to collaborate with others. In 3D experience, these places are called collaborative spaces. There are various subtleties in the creation and management of collaborative spaces that we will review in other more advanced presentations. For our introductory purposes, we'll focus on two primary types of spaces, private and public. Under the content section of platform management is the Collaborative Spaces Control Center. Here you will see all the collaborative spaces on your platform. These spaces are used to organize data storage and data access. They play an important role in establishing a security context for platform members. If this is your first time accessing and managing the platform, you will only see the default starter collaborative space, which is named Common Space. While many customers store data in Common Space, we don't recommend it. All platform environments require at least one collaborative space, and that is why this one exists. We recommend that you create your own collaborative spaces in case you later want to change their names, empty their content out to other collaborative spaces, or delete them entirely. You can expand the Collaborative Spaces Control Center widget to take more web page real estate, and you can restore it back down. Before we create a collaborative space for yourself and your users, let's look at some configuration settings. In Manage Settings, you can give all new users access to Common Space. If you've decided to use Common Space for data storage, turning this switch on will give the new member a place to save their data by default. Enable all new users to create a collaborative space will allow your users to create their own collaborative spaces using the 3D Space app. Be careful with this option because as your member numbers grow, you could get a corresponding growth in the number of collaborative spaces. If you are using the 3D Experience web-based CAD applications known as XApps, Members with those roles can have their own personal collaborative space in which to store the CAD data they create. If you have disallowed members to create collaborative spaces, you can override this for individual members using the Manage Permissions section, allowing you to grant collaborative space creation permission to project leads, and other senior members in your organization. You may also deny creation of collaborative spaces for any member from this section. You can display a list of any member's credentials, showing what collaborative spaces they are members of, along with their roles in those spaces. Let's return to the Manage Collaborative Spaces section and create a new collaborative space by clicking Create Collaborative Space. The main owner of the new collaborative space can be you or some other member. The owner can add other members and change their security context within the collaborative space. Give the collaborative space a title. A description is optional. A design family is the most common type of collaborative space and is used to manage any type of content, including CAD objects, documents, and various other object types created with 3D Experience apps. Alternatively, you can create a standard family for storing content such as standard parts. Private visibility means that a member must be explicitly added to the collaborative space to view or interact with its content. 
Public visibility allows any member with a reader role to view the content of the collaborative space. A reader cannot author new data or modify existing data. Protected visibility is like public, except that only those objects that have a maturity state of released or obsolete are visible to all members. However, if a member is added to the protected collaborative space, they will have visibility of all objects within it, regardless of the object maturity state. In this example, we'll create a design family collaborative space titled New User Orientation and make its visibility private. Once the collaborative space is created, you can use the drop-down menu to change the main owner of the space, edit its visibility, and manage its members. Add the new member you created earlier to this new collaborative space with an access role of author. An author can create new data, modify their own data, and that of other members if it is made available to them, delete their data, and perform most lifecycle operations depending on other configurations set by the platform administrator. A leader has additional privileges beyond an author, whereas a reader or contributor has fewer privileges. The assignment of a member to a collaborative space with a specific role completes the codification of their security context for that collaborative space, along with the capability given them through their assigned application roles and licenses. For more information about what each role affords, please refer to the online documentation. Thank you for viewing this Creating Collaborative Spaces presentation. Please continue to our Roles Management and SWIM Communities presentation for more information related to platform management. Thank you.